It was a case that made national news. It was cold for three and a half decades. Then an arrest was made in the murder of 12-year-old Janelle Matthews. And as Amber Cagliano reports, the suspect once ran for governor. It was a baffling mystery. 12-year-old Janelle Matthews vanished without a trace after performing in a school Christmas concert in 1984. She was dropped off at her home in Greeley, Colorado and never seen again. Janelle's disappearance gained national attention. Her picture appeared on milk cartons. Even President Reagan talked about her in a speech about missing children. Five days before Christmas, Janelle disappeared from her home. Decades passed, the case went cold. Then in 2019, 34 years after her disappearance, her body was discovered by construction workers laying a new pipeline 20 miles from where she lived. We spoke with Janelle's sister, Jennifer, at the time. It's bittersweet. It's the closure that we were always hoping for, but now raises other questions as well. Such as who could have committed such a monstrous act? Last October, authorities arrested this man, 69-year-old Stephen Pankey. Police say he kidnapped Janelle at gunpoint, then killed her. He has pleaded not guilty and has previously denied having anything to do with it. I voluntarily gave my DNA. I offered to take a polygraph. I've never met Janelle Matthews. In the years following Janelle's disappearance, Pankey Steve became Pankey a perennial political candidate, candidate in Idaho. I humbly ask for your vote. He unsuccessfully ran so numerous together, times for sheriff and governor. Safe. I'm Steve Pankey and I approve this ad. Now 48 Hours is diving deep into this strange and tragic case. I spoke with correspondent Richard Schlesinger. How did Steve Pankey become the number one suspect? Steve Pankey sort of has only himself to blame for becoming the number one suspect. He inserted himself into this case for reasons known only to him. He seemed to know about this case more than he should. Uh, and, he, and he kept contacting the police and he kept telling them things. He submitted a list of people he thought should be persons of interest and put his own name on it. Pankey's attorney claims his client has an alibi for the night Jonelle disappeared. He was at home that night with his wife and child. The defense's position is, is that, you know, Pankey just loves the limelight and he's obsessed with true crime and wants to be part of this case, but that he's not a murderer.